Are you serious? Are you serious? The sin. Well, you need to be concerned about the sin. Well, this today, for the first time in over two years, at about 9.30 a.m. this morning, CET time, for the first time since the Large Hadron Collider uh, started up, we'll call it the LHC, uh, they cranked this thing up, first time after two years of maintenance and repairs, that the accelerator delivered a proton-proton collision to the LHC experiments. Now, they had already cranked this thing up uh, about a month ago, actually on the very day that the plane crashed over there in the Swiss Alps, uh, in, or the French Alps, excuse me, about 199 miles from the CERN that and killed everybody on board. They cranked it up that day, but they didn't do collisions. And you can see the diagram there is that, that you can understand the beam, the beam actually has to go in a circle in the CERN. The CERN is the biggest machine in the world. It's 27 kilometers tunnel in a circle, 300 feet underground. Folks, there's nothing even, even close to this thing. This is absolutely the biggest, most powerful machine on the planet. And we're not talking about splitting atoms here. We're talking about colliding protons, ultimately at 99.9% .9 of the speed of light, which is where they wanna be, or 13 TeV. Here's what they've done. The LHC, for the first time, they started up after two years of maintenance and repairs the accelerator delivered a proton-proton collision. Now, the energy was 450 gigal electron, electron volts, or GeV, per beam. These collisions, which take place with each beam at the so-called injection energy, that is the energy at which proton beams are injected into the LHC, from the super proton synchron synchrotron, excuse me, synchrotron. It enables the LHC experiments to tune their detectors. This process is also an important step toward re readying the accelerator to deliver beams at 6.5 tera electron volts or TeV for collisions ultimately at 13 TeV the number of the Illuminati, 13, which at that speed, folks, it would be 99.9% .9 of the speed of light causing matter to be created from dark matter. In other words, they're manipulating the dark matter. And I'm gonna to talk to you about that in a second. Each low energy collision sends showers of particles flying through and experiments many layers. The experimental teams can use this data to check their subdetectors and ensure they fire in the correct place at the precise instant that is a particle passes. Reconstructing flight paths of these particles from many parts of the detector at once helps the experiments to check the alignment, the synchronization of the various subdetector elements. Now. You have to understand something. Why is this thing 27 kilometers in diameter? Well, it's because it is uh, three cube or 999. Now, the thing about that is, if you look at it, which is amazing to me, but when I look at witchcraft, I know that in the Wiccan world, they nine, a circle of nine uh, is uh, what the witches coven believe is a protective number. It keeps brings forth protection. Now, three covens would be 27. And though these numbers are not by accident, but mathematically what the CERN is doing is they're manipulating the dark matter. They're playing in the dark world, in the dark dimensions, um, which is where Lucifer lives. He lives in different frequencies. Now, I had a, a very lengthy conversation the other night with a man that is a nuclear engineer, a nuclear physicist, 
who told me that whenever he spent time, and he spent over five years collectively in his time under the ocean in nuclear subs, when the submarine, a nuclear sub goes underwater into great depths, they actually transfer into a different frequency, a different radio frequency. So they actually transfer themselves, everybody on board, into another dimension. They operate in a different frequency than you do above, above water. Now this slows everything down. It's a total different um, um, manifestation within the very molecules of the body and in the brain. So you have to understand that Lucifer, when it says in the Bible, he's the prince of the power of the air, what it means is he isn't in the light, but he, he dwells in the antimatter. Well, everything you see and touch is matter, and that matter is in the light. But antimatter is uh, what you can't see. So God actually made everything from the antimatter. So in other words, when God said he formed the world with his words, he said, let there be light, and there was light. He literally extracted from the darkness and made light, which is scientifically impossible, but spiritually very comparable. It's very comprehensible. And when you begin to understand the spirit world, Lucifer lives in the antimatter. He lives in a different frequency or a different dimension, a spiritual world, a spiritual realm. But he comes in to contact us. He will ma try to manipulate you. He will try to tempt you by manipulating your brain. This is why the Bible tells us to put on the whole armor of God. And Apostle Paul says, the helmet of salvation. Another scripture, he says, put on the mind of Christ. Another scripture says, have your mind, uh, you know, uh, be, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Dr. Lester Summer used to teach us all the time that the mind is the battleground for the soul. So it's the manipulation. And so what they're doing at CERN is the manipulating the darkness, the dark matter. And they're doing it by the collisions of protons. It's more than just a potential massive earth-changing, universe-changing explosion. But it's a manipulation of the frequencies on which humans on earth are living. Imagine if you could take everybody under and, and manipulate the frequencies that we all are operating in into a different dimension or frequency, which is what happens to in the nuclear subs. Imagine if the whole world could be dropped into this hole, into this change of, of um, reality, if you will, or dimensions. And that's what they're trying to do with the RFID microchip, folks. And now I'm not a scientist, but the radio frequency identification device is to not just, it's not just to link you to a computer, it's to manipulate your DNA or your mind to bring you a couple frequencies down to where you can be manipulated. The only thing that it won't manipulate, get this, folks, this is great, is it can't go through the blood of Jesus. I mean, I'm not joking you. I mean, there's prophecy teams that work for the federal government, and they know this, that they can't manipulate the mind of Christians because they can't get through the blood of Jesus. Are you serious? Are you serious? What? You should be thinking about the same. Are you concerned about the same? It's time to learn, because you don't want to burn. Folks, give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time. We're in the last days. The spirit of the Antichrist. Why do you think these little towers are everywhere? Radio frequency towers. They're not even being used for anything right now. But they're putting them everywhere. They're not cell phone towers. They're the towers that will be used to help change the frequencies, to try to control the masses, but they can't control us. 
that are saved. 